Hi all. Today let's see why we need to make use of the drag by function while using the ng4 structural directives. For using the ng4 structural directive, first we need to import either the browser module or the common module. In case we are using the structural directive inside any of the components that is declared in the app module, we need to make use of the browser module and in any other children modules we should be making use of the common module so once we have imported that we will be able to make use of the ng4 directive so for today's video i have created an anglo 13 application in which basically i am displaying a table which has a header and rows so these rows are basically created by making use of the ng4 structural directive so if we look at the code we have a component called app table which we have embedded within the app component template and within the app table component as you see the we have defined a table and within that we have defined the header and here we have the body so inside the body we make use of the ng4 structural directive in order to track the performance of the ng4 directive here I have created the TR and TD as a component so that I will be able to add console logs within that component. So for that I have used this particular selector within the component. So now if you go to the template of the component you can see that it consists of the TD and we are displaying the first name, last name and the age. So here as per the ng4 syntax basically we have given a list of items called data and we are basically iterating through each of the entry in that list so as you know the structural directive ng4 what it does is it will keep on repeating each of the template based on the number of rows so here this particular template is given within the ng4 and it is repeated according to the number of items within that list. As you saw earlier, within the table row component, which is getting iterated within the ng4, I have added a console.log in the ng on init of this component. So whenever a new row is added, this particular console.log will be displayed. So let's refresh the application. So now you can see that there are four logs which basically represent four rows within our table. Now let's go ahead and add one row. So here if you check the code for adding the data basically I am adding a new row which will be in the first position. So here I am going to add this. So you can see that one new entry got created. One thing to note is that only a single new component was created in this instance so even though we added this new row in the first position still angular was able to optimize that and it did not recreate all the other components we have another button called the shuffle data so what we are doing in this is that we are just going to sort the data in the descending order based on age and we are basically creating a new instance of that array and assigning it to the data. So now let's try that. When we click on the shuffle data, the table is sorted based on the age. But now you can see that actually five more logs have been added. So it basically means that five new components have been created so this is not the expected behavior for an ng4 since basically we have just sorted this table but since we made use of a new memory location what happened is that it basically destroyed and recreated all the rows so now if we press the shuffle data one more time even though there is no action performed still new rows are getting created. Now I have added a 
consoled in the ng destroy life cycle as well just to make sure that the existing component is being destroyed and new components are getting created so here let's click on the shuffle data now you can see that initially the existing rows are deleted and then new rows are added so this is actually a performance issue suppose we are doing some performance intensive action within this ng on in it like making a server call to get some data or some other api related changes it can actually impact the performance of our application so for optimizing this the ng4 has a property called the track by function so now let's explore that so for adding the track by function we need to give this syntax that is the track by colon here we need to give a function which is a pure function and this is the syntax of that function so it will be it can be any function name which has two parameters one is the index and other is the actual entry within that list through which the ng4 will be iterating so either you can return the index as a return value or in case the object or the item which we iterate to so in this case the row so if we go to our row you can see that each row has a unique identifier called id so in case our data has such a unique identifier we can return that particular identifier from the track by function so first let us try making use of the track by index which basically makes use of the internal index which we will be able to access like this so you would have seen this syntax like let i equal to index so this index is a internal variable the same variable we will be able to make use within our track by function as the first parameter so first let us give this track by index and now let's run our application so initially the four rows are created now let's add one more so as expected only a single component is created now let's shuffle the data now you can see that there has not been any destroying or recreation of the component it just has been shuffled so why this is happening is basically angular is keeping track of the components by making use of the index so even though the components got shuffled since angular is internally maintaining the tracking by index it will not recreate the components so the same way let's make use of the track by id so in the track by id we are returning the unique identifier that is the id so here again when we press shuffle data you can see that it is working as expected without any recreation of the components so by making use of the track by function angular is able to keep track of the order of the data and hence it can improve the performance of our application so hope you are able to get a good idea about how the track by function improves the performance of ng4 structural directive see you soon thank you